Hi hey guys, how's it going? My name's Chris with Robotics Gaming and this is Calibria Crystal Guardians. So in this video we're going to be talking about the new events that have been posted. Uh, so let's just dive right in and take a look at these. So these are the holiday events. So if we click on the right side of the screen, it's uh, just down here with these presents and party things. Um, okay, so uh, two new events have popped up. We still have the puzzle battle event which is still active so if you are uh, wanting to get all of these uh, lovely rewards down here do this today you need to complete your dailies if you haven't done any of these dailies up until now uh, now is the time to do it if you start doing your dailies from today you're able it's your last chance to collect all of these rewards and you get a skill cat and an lnd scroll at the end of this so definitely worth doing this if you haven't started this already and i think i've just managed to like fill out my puzzle so i've just completed this on my rewards didn't get a decent lnd but you know oh well uh the daily stamina refill this is still going on i think there's no end limit to this so i think this is going to be uh, constantly throughout the whole holiday event uh, scheduling uh so that's brilliant so that's you know free energy is always good okay so let's start off with the one at the top this is the holiday check-in event so this is active from the 30th of march up until the 9th of april and very little requirement to this. All you have to do is log in for seven days between those those dates. So as you can see, I've logged in today, day one. I can claim this. This is a free stick summoning <laughs> scroll. So brilliant. And these rewards aren't too bad either. So literally just for logging in, we're gonna get some nice rewards. We've got day one, mystery summon scroll. Uh, day two, lawful summon scroll. Day three, carry out chaotic summon scroll day four evil summon scroll day five skill cap just for logging in day six lnd scroll day seven a legendary scroll so pretty nice that is literally all you have to do log in to get these rewards i think that's like 10 11 days something like that so you got a few days of not logging in for any reason i don't know why you would choose not to log in but yeah, you got a, a little bit of leeway there um and the next one we're going to is the kite collector uh, now this has sparked a bit of controversy over some content creators and part of the community and we'll go into that just a little bit later uh, but for now we're just gonna have a look at it and see you know take it for what it's worth what from the information that's been provided so far okay so this event starts from today 30th of march and this goes on until the 14th of april uh, so that's you know just uh, well, two weeks for this event, which is plenty of time to get all your get all your kites in. So this is kite collection. Um, so the event rules are simple; they're right here. Um, so for the free to play players, uh, for the casuals, you can receive up to two hundred kites from completing your campaign stages, and you can also receive two hundred kites from taking part in the catacombs. So yeah, pretty nice. You can alternate through this. Whenever you've got an XP boost up, just go, just go crazy and farm loads of XP. Get your heroes leveled up, and then the kites will follow. Uh, up to 200 of those, and then if you haven't got any XP boost going on, just uh, you know farm some ruins in the catacombs or some uh, evolution marks. And, and you've got two weeks to do this, so that's pretty good. So in total, that's 400 kites. There is also this here owned and currently owned zero USD. We'll go into that just a little bit um, but for now we'll just do what we know what we can see here and what we can uh, obtain and that's 400 kites so there's a few rewards on here and uh, there are some limits to some like the first ones are limited that's for Kalianite uh, and the rest up until the end one have there's restrictions on them on how many times you can claim them uh, the last one is unlimited exchange times and this is a value of 205 so if we're just playing this normal and we're not spending any money in this currently there isn't any option to spend money um but we get 400 cards in total so that means we can claim one lnd scroll from this event if we're not spending any money if we're just playing the game as it is so um if we disregard the first slot the kalianite slot and kind of assume we're only getting one of these in total to get all of these items it's gonna take 670 kites to complete um obviously if we're 
for freemiums we're not getting that we're only getting 400 so now we're having a choice so we can decide for ourselves which kind of rewards we want to get for ourselves so let's just go over so for, for with the limits in there obviously the first one's unlimited so you can get as many of those as you want um if you Spending all 400 kites on there, that's 2 million Kalyanite. If you're short on cash, you need some money, go ham on this and get 2 million Kalyanite back. However, that's the kind of uh, one that I'm going to avoid personally. <laughs> kind of look at these other ones. Uh, so this, the second one is uh, 30 energy uh, for 5 kites. You can exchange that 8 times. So that's going to give you, for 40 kites, you can get 240 energy from this. For the next one, for 36 kites, you can get 3, <laughs> three time Ascension Cats, 2 star max. Uh, the next one for 60 kites you can get two star ascension cats three star max 60 kites you can get two mystery scrolls and then further down on the next row we've got uh two lawful scrolls for 70 kites two chaotic scrolls for 70 kites two evil scrolls for 70 kites then we've got 50 void stones for 60 kites and then the, the ultimate prize the big one on here is the D scroll for 205 kites now we get to the choice so me personally i'm um, probably most likely not going to put any money into this when they do release the uh, final version of the paid part of the event i'm just going to go with a freemium because i can be happy with that i still get an opportunity to get a lnd scroll so for me uh, for what i'm going to be doing is i've kind of like set up my uh, the things i'm going to claim for myself so i'm going to grind out these 400 kites and then with that i'm going to get the lnd scroll uh, the 50 void stones and then i'm going to get two mystic summon scrolls and then two three star ascension cats and with the remainder i've got 15 kites left so i'm just going to grab three lots of this energy so not any energy from that and that's going to be my total that's going to round me up to 400 kites i mean you know completely up to you what what you guys choose you might want to go for some of these uh, scrolls down here maybe some lawfuls or some chaotic or evil you know but completely up to you so all in all it's a nice event especially with the two combined you get in two lnd scrolls legendary scroll you can choose to get more stick scrolls or some other prizes from this which is pretty nice that's just for playing the game as it is okay so now for the other part of this so they've kept this bit to unlimited exchange times which means you can get multiple of these lnd scrolls 205 kites per turn now for the ones we grind ourselves we were only able to get one with 400 kites so the question is what is the other part of the event because there's gonna be one and there has been some uh, screenshots circulating of a paid version of this where you are paying a certain amount of money to unlock a chest and then you get some uh, I can't remember what the other rewards are but each unlock gives you 50 extra kites um and the prices that are on them uh seem to be really high um i think like the end part of that event is going to be like uh 1200 us dollars <laughs> which surely can't be right but you know a lot of people are seeing this stuff seeing this information and just being like uh yeah that's it i quit this game i kind of like giving it a bit of thought so you know this this extra paid event which which we, you know, we really don't know. This is just one screenshot that's circulating. It's not the final version. It hasn't been posted yet. We don't know. Like, it could be that much. It most probably isn't that much. But, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it, if it was, to be fair. With the, with the way uh, games like this are heading. You know, everything. Like, every other game that I've been on so far. Uh, gacha game. There's some kind of, like, battle pass to it. We have to pay money to, um, you know, get extra rewards within the game. You know, keep that going for a duration and then pay for another battle pass uh, this game doesn't have it yet this game does have some monetization features um but at the same time when it brings out these new kind of like paid events we seem to be always getting these free events to go along with that but yeah who knows and until the final event gets posted for this uh, i'm going to keep an open mind uh, well i'm going to be going for this free free version anyway so you know in my eyes it's just a win-win for me because i'm gonna get some light and dark <laughs> light and dark scrolls and a few extra scrolls from it but it is what it is but guys i mean come on use your use your heads a bit here if so if they're gonna have like paid versions of this is it really that bad i mean if you look at the other games that are similar to this where they have paid events you usually as a as a free to play player or a casual player you get a lot less from it compared to the paid versions of it so to be honest i mean we're getting quite a bit from both of these uh, this and the check-in event alone for free 
So yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And the thing is, if you quit this game and move on to another game, you're gonna have you're gonna you know come to the same same predicament. There's always gonna be like paid versions, um, and sometimes you won't even get a free version of the of that event or that situation. So you know, uh, with all that said, uh, in my opinion, Calibria. Uh, still new, they still could change on this, but currently it's still like the lesser of all the other evils out there in terms of paid events and free-to-play content. You know, uh, they are still pretty free-to-play friendly considering these events. They've thrown a lot of LND scrolls at us so far, free, uh, and a lot of like so many Mystic scrolls as well for free. So you know, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still going to continue to support this game. Uh, and enjoy the content that they bring out. These are free events, I like getting excited about these and I'm getting some nice rewards from them. So with that said, I <laughs> hope you found any information in this video helpful to you at least and hope you like the content. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and consider ringing that, ringing that notification bell and hopefully see you guys again in the next video. And guys, enjoy your free holiday events. And yeah, that's it from me, that's it for this video. So take care guys.